Oh yeah. What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today is one of my favorite days. It's a good day because, because I'm getting a new tattoo today. I think I got my last tattoo, which was a skull on my shoulder. I think I got that one last May. So yeah, it's been over a year since I've gotten my last tattoo. So I'm very excited today. I got such a really good response on my tattoo tour video. If you guys haven't seen it, I will link it right up above. I thought since I got such a good response and reaction to that video, I would make another tattoo video for you guys, bringing you along with me, as well as some aftercare things that I do, and also, of course, my new tattoo that I'm getting. So if you guys would like to hang out with me today and see me get my new tattoo, then just keep watching. I just got done with my tattoo appointment and unfortunately I wasn't allowed to film in there. I did get my tattoos. Fran and I stopped at Chick-fil-A and I got a sweet tea and Fran got a chicken sandwich as well as a sweet tea and we're on our way home right now. I will show you guys my tattoo when I get home and then also some aftercare things that I do as well. So it's a little bit later now. We just got home and I'm going to show you guys my tattoos. Here's a close-up look. The reason they have those lines and streaks in them is because I do have a clear film over them to protect them and help them heal. Usually the artist that I normally go to would put like a little bit of a cotton like patch on it then wrap it in saran wrap and I would only keep it on for a couple hours. But this stuff my artist told me to actually keep on for two to three days to help with the healing process as well as keeping it clean. So with all of that being said, traditionally the tattoo care that I normally do, I would have the bandage off after about a couple hours. So since this is the first time with the clear adhesive for me the healing and the aftercare is going to be a little bit different and this is supposed to be a little bit more of a long-term aftercare so I don't need to do as much work for the aftercare in the first day or so with that being said, if you didn't get the clear adhesive for a cover up or for helping you heal after your tattoo, if you only got like the saran wrap or a cotton swab or anything like that, the first thing that I recommend doing once you take it off is just taking like a damp paper towel and kind of patting the surface of your tattoo. You just wanna pat it and make sure that it's nice and clean. I personally use cold water because usually my skin feels really raw and the cold water just feels really nice to kind of pat around the skin. Additionally, I like to make sure that my tattoo is moisturized most artists will tell you this but you should not use any scented or like heavy thick kind of creamy lotions on your tattoos right after you get them until they're fully healed for my tattoos I personally use aquifer because it's a little bit thicker and feels more like a salve but it also again is unscented and not really thick I only put on a thin layer and it has a lot of good moisturizing benefits but it also is a little bit of a lubricant so it kind of builds up a little bit of a protective barrier for your skin not picking at your tattoo is also another important tip this is something I didn't know when I got my first tattoo on my ribs. So when it does start peeling, I thought it was like scabbing and I was kind of like picking at it because I was like, oh my God, I don't think that's supposed to happen. But then it ended up causing like gaps in the ink and I had to get it retouched up in a couple months after I got it. The reason that happens is your skin goes through a healing process because your skin kind of grows in layers. And as our skin is growing, it goes from deep to superficial. So it goes from the inside to the outside. And obviously you're getting tattooed beyond the surface layer of your skin. So your skin is still growing and kind of shedding all those dead skin cells and some of them just happen to be in the layer that was there when you were getting tattooed at the time. So essentially your skin is pushing out dead skin cells and some of them are gonna be like kind of black and little pilly because your skin's pushing out the excess ink as well as the excess dead skin and everything that was there from when you were getting a tattoo. Another tip to give when I normally get my tattoos is when I'm going to sleep, I always like to make sure that I'm either wearing kind of like a crappier long sleeve shirt. If you're a person where you don't like sleeping in long sleeve shirts or anything, you can also lay down just like a nice towel around the area of wherever you're laying just to protect your sheets more so than ever. And again, making sure that your tattoo is like really nice and moisturized when you go to sleep. I'll have to let you guys know how it goes with this clear adhesive because she told me it's not supposed to peel or anything as I sleep or as I shower. So one of the last tips 
that I have for you really quick is just making sure no matter what you are keeping your new tattoo clean. Your skin is your first line of defense for your body. If you do end up getting some sort of like bacterial infection, like touch the surface of your tattoo or getting a lot of dirt in there and just stuff that's not supposed to be in that fresh skin, it can really lead to a lot of further issues for your skin in that area down the road just because of the infection and having a new tattoo and it's just going to be awful because you're going to have to try healing with that infection as well as maintaining the status and the looks of your tattoo which normally doesn't happen if you do end up getting a really bad infection but hopefully you guys know that just keeping your tattoos clean is just standard practice you want to keep that skin really nice and clean because overall beyond your health it'll also help your tattoo heal a lot better if you're keeping it clean and moisturized not picking at it while it's peeling and making sure that you are just taking the utmost care of it in the first couple of days. If you guys have any more questions about tattoos or want to know anything else, you can obviously ask me down below in the comment section. I'm going to get some stuff done around the house tonight and then I will catch up with you guys tomorrow and update you on how I slept with the clear adhesive and also show you guys the healing of the tattoo for day two. See you in the morning. Bye! morning you guys it is the morning after my tattoo appointment i did say that i was going to update you guys on just like my night and showering and how i slept on it and everything like that if it did start peeling and quite honestly the wrap itself is staying on really well like it hasn't had any of the corners lift up and start peeling at all it's kind of at a point where i'm like starting to notice it more though and like feel it more this morning versus like oh i kind of forget that it's there i also took a shower last night and like washed my body and everything and like it did not peel or get wet or anything at all it stayed on really nice in the shower too so first night went really good and first shower went really good as you can also see the ink is starting to leak out a little bit not so much on the coffee plant but the bee itself kind of looks like it has a little bit of an ink sack in there the one thing that I was a little worried about with this adhesive because I've never kept on like a covering or an adhesive over a tattoo this long was like the tattoo staying moisturized but the look and feel of my tattoo Tattoo. it doesn't feel itchy it doesn't feel dry I'll probably end up keeping this on for one more day and then taking it off in the shower either like tonight or tomorrow but after the first night and first shower so far so good just a little bit of a tattoo update it's still the day after I got my tattoo Fran and I are just leaving the gym I still have my cling wrap on and it held up pretty well I did actually sweat a lot at the gym and it didn't like get loose or start peeling or anything with sweat, so that's really nice. Don't take a bath or go swimming. Yeah, that's important too. Don't like soak your tattoo in water the first probably a couple days to a week that you get it. I wouldn't recommend swimming probably the first week, week, week yeah, first week or two. I know I mentioned yesterday when you're showering to not like physically like wash and scrub it or anything just to kind of lightly rinse it off, but I didn't really talk on what Fran just touched on about like don't let water directly run all over it for a, like a prolonged period of time. Obviously you can rinse it off a little bit, but you don't want water soaking into it. Overall in general, you just don't want it to be soaking in water in the first couple weeks that you get it because it does affect the healing process. Sorry this is on my iPhone, but again, I just wanted to keep you guys informed on all the tattoo healing and update stuff because that is what the video is about. So as far as tattoos in the gym, I say go for it. Don't do too much. If you are a pretty active person, try not to sweat profusely the first couple days to week that you get your tattoo. Beyond that, as long as you're not constantly rubbing it with the workout that you're doing, you should be good to go. Hello! I just got home from the gym and I took a shower and I ended up taking off the bandaging in the shower. It was a little difficult and a little bit painful, just like more of an annoyance than a pain. And I wanted to show you guys my tattoos. They healed super nicely and stayed really, really moisturized under that wrapping for the first couple days. I did put some aquifer on after rinsing them off in the shower and they feel really good. I don't have any pain whatsoever. They aren't sensitive to the touch or anything like that. I also think that the ink stayed 
really nice in the tattoo for the first couple days with that wrapping on there so I'm definitely a fan of that wrapping I'm hoping the next time I get a tattoo I will get the same kind of wrapping because I really did enjoy that it was a lot less messy it was super easy to work with and it was really convenient as far as like showering getting dressed it wasn't like flimsy it didn't peel it kept my tattoo really nice and moisturized as well as kept it really clean so now over the next couple days I'm just gonna make sure that I keep my tattoo nice and moisturized be a little bit cautious as far as the healing and make sure that I'm taking really good care of it so with that being said that is going to conclude my video I hope you guys enjoyed this video talking about getting my tattoos as well as some aftercare tips for you thank you guys so much for all of your support it means the world to me so before you go don't forget to click that subscribe button down below also give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below what tattoos you guys have or any tattoos that you plan on getting thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it as always I enjoyed making it for you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!